Welcome to our Devos this week, and we hope you're excited because we are going to be talking about overcoming obstacles. You know, it's been said that you're either in the middle of a battle, you're coming out of a battle, or the battle is ahead. And one of the things that we can do as Christians is we can get battle ready and really try to see what God says about how we can be confident when life doesn't go the way that we expected that it would. So today, the first thing that we're going to talk about is you have to know who's on your side. You have to know who's on your side. When something happens that you're not expecting to happen, right now, if you're dealing with something that's a little overwhelming, you have to stop and assess who's on your side. And luckily for you, I should say fortunately for you, it's Jesus Christ himself. The Bible says in Psalm 118 verse 6, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me. Now, why is this important to know? Because a lot of times when we are going up against something or we're trying to overcome an addiction or we're trying to kind of deal with a difficult situation in a relationship, we feel like we're all alone. We feel like we don't have an ally in the fight. But the Bible repeatedly talks about how God is on our side, how God is with us, how we are not alone. Now, I am going to give you the darker side of this and flip it around. Sometimes when we're in an obstacle type situation and we're doing something that's maybe we shouldn't be doing, we're not on his side. And what I mean by that is sometimes we cause our own problems. So God is for you, yes, but one of the things that really, really helps to make sure that we are really able to get past the thing that's keeping us from that next step that God wants us to take is that we make sure that we're doing the things that we know God wants us to do, that we're not our own worst enemy in a situation, and that we're doing everything possible, working like it depended on us, but praying knowing that it depends upon God. So make sure that you're on his side. Make sure that you're doing what God wants you to do. But know that as you look at this obstacle, as you look at this big situation that seems like it's so overwhelming, know that your God is bigger. 